Undertaker George, played by Tony Mosley, just wanted to surprise Eileen Grimshaw, Sue Cleaver, with a Christmas present he knew she'd like, so he arranged for her old sofa to be removed while he awaited the delivery of a new one. However, when the highly anticipated sofa arrived it ended up being a tiny one built to go in a doll's house. While some Coronation Street viewers found the plot hilarious, others questioned how George could have purchased the item and believed it to be a regular sized settee. Some even claimed the idea was taken from an advert. Eileen initially became suspicious that George was up to something when he tried to deter her from going home. As they sat in the cafe, George panicked when Eileen announced she'd be heading off. I haven't even started prepping for Christmas dinner, Eileen informed him as he tried to convince her to stay out a bit longer. But Todd, Grimshaw, Gareth Pierce, and Sean, Tolly, Anthony Cotton, are taking care of that, George argued. Yeah, exactly, 20 pounds they haven't even peeled a sprout between them. Eileen replied. As she began to leave, George followed her and Eileen soon clocked he was up to something. I really think Todd might feel undermined, he doesn't like to be micromanaged, does he? George continued. Out with it, Eileen demanded as she sussed George was hiding something. Eventually, George admitted, the truth is that your Christmas presents arriving today, it's quite a hard one to hide so I've got Sean and Todd and Dylan, Wilson, Liam McShine, trying to help me out. Really? Eileen smiled, to which George responded, cross my heart. She added, when you say difficult to hide. And George confirmed, it's pretty big. Starting to look forward to Christmas now. A delighted Eileen commented as she walked away from the house. Later, George raced home to see if the sofa had arrived. Is it here yet? He asked as he walked into the living room. Todd sarcastically answered, yes it's here, it's one of those invisible ones. Yes, alright, I'm just excited, George remarked before adding, so is Eileen. Actually, I think I might have got her expectations too high. Dot George hurried to the door after there was a knock, but he returned with a small box. Are they bringing it in? Sean asked, but George explained, no, they've left. When Todd asked what he was holding, George replied, I don't know. It's from the right place though, Gulliver's Furniture. He opened the box to reveal a miniature sofa and stated, I don't understand. Grabbing a leaflet that was placed in the box, Sean Reed, thank you for shopping at Gulliver's Furniture, furnishing dolls houses since 1952. Dolls houses? Dylan laughed, while Todd quipped, right then lads, grab an end, lift with the knees. Responding to the scene, some viewers branded it ridiculous, while others noted it shared similarities with an advert. Twitter user at I underscore am underscore Ken Barlow pointed out, hashtag Corey did George not suspect something when Eileen's settee cost about seven pounds. 99 instead of 2 grand? At 158 Deb fumed, what a stupid storyline hashtag Cory that sofa mustn't have cost anywhere near. Bit ridiculous. At Don Brown Muff catted, I can't believe George got that sofa I'm looking forward to the Christmas Day episode, especially Eileen's reaction at the sofa and fizz when she finds out what is really happening. Hashtag Cory. Hashtag Corey isn't that sofa joke stolen straight off an advert? Asked at where we didn't won. At Marie Tother shared, didn't George check the dimensions of that sofa before he bought it? Hashtag Corey. 
at Maguro 9285908 asked, How can someone buy a doll sofa and think it's a real one? How much did the Muppet pay for it? Hashtag Corey. Some fans found the classic moment hilarious though, with at Babanut underscore writing, increasing at Corey and that sofa hashtag Corey. Sick, Coronation Street continues on Christmas Day at 7pm on ITV.